Today I will be talking about recruitment efforts under the Labor Market Impact Assessment, in other words, LMIA. There are many steps involved in the process of hiring a foreign worker. For example, the process of applying for a positive LMIA in Canada. There are certain steps that employers need to take even before they can apply for an LMIA. Let's examine what you need to do in order to be eligible to apply for an LMIA application in Canada. A labor market impact assessment, uh, formerly known as a labor market opinion, is a document that is processed by Social Development um, Canada and uh, Service Canada. It is a document that employers need to apply for in order to have their foreign worker come and work for them in Canada. In other words, if you get this document, it basically means that Canada lacks this kind of labor or this kind of skill that you're trying to hire for. Having an LMIA does not mean that you can start working in Canada. Once an LMIA has been approved, you then go ahead and apply for a work permit, which is a complete um, a different procedure and having a positive LMIA does not mean that you can have an approved work permit. There are many people who are exempt from applying for an LMIA and some of them are um, business visitors, athletes, uh, performing artists, uh, news reporters, and uh, study permit holders. Remember, the Temporary Foreign Worker Program was created to boost the Canadian economy, to uh, mobilize the Canadian economy, so it is imperative to the government that you as employers use this, use an LMIA application as a last resort. How will you prove to the Canadian government that Canada lacks the certain type of uh, skilled work or labor that you're uh, looking for? You will prove this labor shortage to the Canadian government by advertising uh, for this position that you want to hire a foreign worker for. Um, this can be directed at Canadian citizens, um, Canadian uh, PR card holders, and even um, Canadian work permit holders. Here are a few things you need to know for recruitment efforts. Your advertisement efforts must show that you are willing and trying to attract Canadian citizens or pure card holders or work permit holders in Canada. And you have to advertise your um, job or your position on sites like Kijiji, All Star, uh, Job Spider, Indeed, and so on. And it is very important that you also post or advertise your position in uh, Job Bank, which is a government um, website. It's actually created by the government for LMIAs and other reasons. In case that you cannot uh, post your position in Job Bank, you have to explain this to the government. How long should you advertise for this position? It all depends on the job itself that you're um, looking to hire a temporary foreign worker for, but generally it is required that you start uh, posting this position um, around three months before you apply for an application, for an LMI application, and until the application has received either a positive or negative assessment. The duration of your advertisement is very important because it clearly states how serious you are about um, offering this job or this position to a Canadian citizen PR work permit holder rather than just offering it to a foreign work permit. Some of the things that you need to keep in mind before uh, posting your advertisements um, on these websites um, are determining the wages and the salaries. Um, it's very important that the wages that you give um, or that you post um, are aligned with what CIC wants you to. So you have to um, check the wages um, on websites and make sure that the wages are exactly what it's supposed to be in certain areas, in certain regions, and, and cities and provinces. You have to also research about benefits associated with this position, um, such as um, sick days or um, time off or vacation and stuff like that. You also have to make sure that your job description or um, skills uh, needed for this job is aligned with human rights, it's aligned with employment standards and labor laws of Canada itself. You have to make sure the job description does not violate Canadian laws and uh, you have to target, this is very important, you have to target the audience. You have to make sure that it's, it's targeted at youth, at seniors, uh, veterans, um, and indigenous uh, and women and uh, people um, and my, people who are um, minority or considered minority in Canada.
Remember, the financial burden of recruitment is always laid upon the employer. You cannot um, expect the foreign worker or anyone else to pay for advertisements and recruitments uh, that you have to do before you even apply for your um, LMIA application. Carmen Associates has helped many clients from temporary to uh, permanent applications. If you would like to hire a temporary foreign worker, you can contact Akrami and Associates. With Akrami and Associates, there's always a way.